That wasn't there before, was it? Tell me about Nina. When Nina died, everyone was terrified. No one could wrap their mind around it. It was truly and utterly unthinkable, and yet it happened. Dying is not really a common habit around here, you see. And so when Nina passed away, everyone started saying that a Shabnak came for her soul. Or maybe a Turnskin, a creature from beyond. I'm sorry, is everyone fucking immortal around here? Dying is not a common habit around here? What does that mean? I thought that one guy was unusual for his own mortality. But people, but he's like phrasing, what is he indicating that people don't normally die? That wouldn't everyone die? Otherwise, wouldn't everyone die just here just as much as they do everywhere? I see, but what can you tell me about Nina herself? Her name doesn't really ring that many bells to me. Nina Kaina, Nina the Sorceress, the most gorgeous woman I've ever seen. So wild and fierce and intimidating, just one brief look at her walking down the street, with or without her escort, could make you weak in the knees. You could almost picture her upon a throne. She could cut you with a knife, looking you in the eye, and no one would say a thing. Only a shabnak could take that one. So what? Did anyone find the turnskin? Not really. So now you want to give another try? Very funny. I'm not in the mood for laughing at all. Okay. You definitely get hints at the idea that, that there might be some odd translations when they just have like slightly odd conversations. But it kind of adds to the Silent Hill quality of the weird interactions too. Seriously though, I don't know how to get food in this game. You only sell ammo. I might have to look this up. Because I... Alpha tablets, that's an immunity booster. Painkiller. Oh, you sell drugs. Like, I could wander around randomly, but this game has, like, a built-in time limit. Constantly. I might have to l do a little research about how to get food at all because my I'm gonna run out of I'm gonna like fill up my hunger meter and I don't know what to do about that what does that mean does that just mean people drink here ooh maybe this is where I get food or drugs oh it's like a pharmacy is that what this it was like a snake in a wine glass I wasn't sure what to make of that ah uh, drugs alpha tablets Memoir dam, and you can sell things to him. Oh, protective gloves. It's price two seventy. Probably wear those. You can sell a watch and stuff like that. He'll buy like anything in my inventory. You can't talk to him. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. How do I wear items? <laughs> the interface is just it's just not the interface I'm used to in video games so like the in, there's just in, in basic in levels of intuitiveness that don't apply here so I have an inventory with I diary letters character status sure reload plague finder yeah but how do I wear clothes I might have to look that up <laughs> how, how do I wear clothes game not left click and right click drops it on the floor, which is a mistake I've made repeatedly. Maybe I'm wearing them already, just because they're in my inventory? But that'd be weird, what if you get two sets of gloves? How do you tell which ones you're wearing? I'm just so used to seeing a character screen that's like, here are the items you are currently equipping, and here are the slots they can be equipped into. And that's just like not a thing in this game. I kind of want to be able to ask these people, like, where do I buy... Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing, dude? Hey, you. Stop that. Hmm. 
Are we fighting right now? What the hell? Why are you? Why are you? What are you doing? Hey, look, stuff. Leave me alone. I didn't. What? He was trying to murder a lady. Did I? Is that is that gonna get me like a reputation hit? Oh yeah, there it is. My reputation dropped. What? Why? Is he done yet? No, he's not done. My reputation went down for defending a woman that was being attacked. I guess the idea is that they are attacking her because they think that she's a uh, whatever the word is. And so they're like, I got, oh, he's fighting the natural way of things. You're supposed to let the women get beat to death. Apparently. I don't want to fight the kid. Go away. I'm just going to go home. Go away, little kid. He might have dropped food for me. That might have actually taken care of my problem for now. Go away! Don't ever get me in here. So what did he drop? I was afraid to look at it because I was being attacked. Ah, cracker. He dropped crackers. Cool. Also, I think the clothes might just be equipped right now. Because I do have, like, protection from a, a stats right here. Including infection. So maybe they are auto-equipped. Maybe if I get more gloves, one of them will have the outline and the other ones won't. And I can click on the one I want to equip or something. Anyway, uh... Quick save. Uh... Yeah, hunger's up there. Let's... Let's eat some rations. There we go. Now my hunger is... Uh... Not actually much better. <laughs> My bedroom is... That's her, that's her bed, so let's not be weird about it. I'm gonna see what happens if I try to sleep. I've quick saved. Six hours. Doesn't say how much will happen. Let's do, let's tentatively sleep for like a couple hours. Oh yeah, there's the exhaustion trickling downward. Alright. Now it's 9 o'clock at night. Are you still awake? Yep. I had a feeling you would come. Oh, she always hears singing. How's my health? Reputation took a hit. Health did not really recover. That's not good. Does sleeping not recover health in this game? Now you're out in the dark and the rain. Is that really a good call? So much water. I am the water master. Good morals and luck are a great help in managing a small community without resorting to violence. Personal standing can work wonders. What do you mean? I like our town. We're all one big fan. We've done this before. We've done that whole conversation before. I mean, I guess I don't have any other major tasks, so I might as well just sleep. And just wait until the morning, the actual morning begins. And hope that my health just improves. I don't know if I should be using drugs or what. Like, are drugs mandatory for healing is what I wonder. An outdated immunity booster, only useful in very large doses that cause serious health damage. But I'd prefer not to. I would definitely prefer not to cause health damage. I'm sorry, how s- wait a minute, I have to acknowledge this. 
Look at these micro stairs. You would never want stairs like this in your house. They're so tiny that they're like your feet wouldn't fit on them. Weird. Go for it. See you guys tomorrow. Oh no, my health's not going up. It's kind of a problem, isn't it? The day, the day is, over. is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. That is a very strange sentence to hear without context. I'm a little bothered by the fact that my health did not improve at all. Shit. Um, do you heal from water? Doesn't mention it. I guess I could use a bandage? It says traumatic injury though. Five hours of, of sleep. Ah, this helps you heal during sleep. Hmm. It's fine, I'll just try not to get hit. It'll be easy. Also, let's make a save in a new slot in case that goes really bad for me. You never know. There's a new mime performance. Ah, what time of day is it? Spooky out here. Where we left off is I need to figure out the most fruitful approach. Simon's a well-respected man, if you and if he mistakes my interest for effrontery, it'd be nigh impossible to convince him to help me break new ground in the field of human vitality. I have no tasks of any kind at the moment. And whoa! Where'd all these come from? Those weren't here before. There's his door barracks. A letter from a colleague in Thanatica. Daniel, I'm writing this in a hurry, so do forgive the uncustomary brevity before the giant letter. The powers that be are closing in on us. They persecuted us before, as you know, but now they are set to utterly exterminate us. We may yet be able to persevere, but you, my friend, are in grave danger. It is almost as if your destination was chosen to be the place of your burial. They say there is some kind of disease in town, of a most lethal variety, perhaps the plague itself. I have little doubt that the powers that be have set up your whole journey. Talman, that vermin, wants to get rid of you before he w w more than he wants to cease the outbreak. I wouldn't be surprised if it transpires that there are no medical personnel whatsoever in the town. They will use it as pretext to delegate the whole mess of it to you. If this is the case, I urge you to keep out of trouble. Stay safe, Daniel. Wait for the sanitary teams. They will arrive sooner or later. Take care, my friend. If they tell you to engage the plague by yourself, refuse it. Even if your principles enjoin you to do otherwise. Our research is what matters the most. We will not be able to go on with it if you are dead. Yours, A. So he's saying that people planned... So someone that hates my immortality research so much that they've planned this entire plague death to happen to me for that purpose. I don't know about that, but okay. The body is isolated. Bachelor, the, ba the body has been isolated. As far as I know, Reuben conducts the examination of it. Nevertheless, keep in mind that your discovery. I would advise you to see me in the rod first thing tomorrow morning. There is a matter of crucial importance that we need to discuss. We need to go to the rod. Okay. Alexander Sabarov. A letter from the powers that be. Bachelor Dankovsky. By what seems to be very lucky coincidence, you have found yourself in a town that is wrought by some very worrying occurrences. Reportedly, there is an outbreak of dangerous disease in the vicinity. There is also an opinion that the outbreak is a falsification staged deliberately by, for the purpose of concealing a murder. In consideration of your outstanding analytical capability, we delegate the investigation to you. If there is an epidemic, it must be halted by any means necessary. 
You should collect as much information as you can, we suppose, and then make a decision in line with your own professional ethics and moral beliefs. In order to implement your strategy, an Inquisitor endowed with unrestricted authority will shortly arrive to join you. In the event that you are unable to curb the outbreak before their arrival, all power over the situation will be reassigned to them. P.S. It has come to our attention that you have recently requested permission to continue with your own research. The decision of whether or not such permission will be granted depends on the res results of this assignment. Your success, therefore, has a bearing on your scientific reputation and your further academic career. Professor Talman. They're saying that if I don't take care of the situation, uh, my career is over, basically. Uh, reputation. My hunger's fucked. So I slept long enough for my exhaustion to go away. Maybe too long. They want me to meet, meet me at the rod, right? Okay, so all the marks are gone on the map. And that's the rod on the other side of town. I guess I could start making my way over there, but look for food sources along the way. Can I do anything for you? What is the history of this place? The town was built step by step. Please, tell me more. Yesterday I had a geography lesson. Today's let, let's have a background review. Ta the town grew bigger as the owners of the Bull Project grew richer. Eventually the town of beasts surrendered and became the town of men. What exactly do you mean by the town of beasts? Just, you know, it's absolutely barbaric. Bulls set the pace there, not people. And the people that work with the beasts aren't really so far ahead of them, evolutionarily speaking. I see. So what happened next? The town of beasts nurtured the town of men, and demanded nothing in return. That's how the districts came to be. The inhabitants of the town of men didn't really concern themselves with bulls. All they did was build, trade, and craft. Even the smell is somehow not omnipresent. Good point. By the way, judging by the size of your abattoir, the production must also be massive. The whole place is supposed to be reeking of bulls. Miraculously, it doesn't. The abattoir doesn't let the scent of death out. All the stench in the earth comes from the factories. And even that is negligible, really. Well, that's just one of the peculiar quirks of the place. I see. Who's to so, that, what, are they, like, slaughtering bulls in there? Is that what we're talking about, basically? But none of that reaches us? Hmm. It's all factory noise. Nope, no dialogue with her. How do I unhunger myself? Uh, let's try water. Ah. Wow, that was not a great trade-off. An incredibly negligible loss of hunger, and a noticeably larger increase of exhaustion is what happened. Must check garbage. I assume they respawn or something, right? I swear I've checked some of these before and I've just found more inside. Uh, did you just murder that? Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop murdering people. Yay, clapping. My reputation's higher now. <laughs> Alright, so kill one murderer, get reduced reputation and weird crying babies sounds happen but save a, what kill another murderer and there's clapping and chicken sounds and now I have higher reputation hello alive man how do you do ooh look at all that money that's on him whoa dude that guy had like 500 money oh no she's dead what does she have on her nothing The previous option went away, but that one came back. No, it's pie in the sky. No, that's just because that's the other don't do anything option. Well, that gave me money. Now I've got a lockpick. 
And... Did I get a new weapon? No. What was the claw thing I saw? Razors. No crime is greater in this community than violating the integrity of a body with a sharp piece of metal. Is it just another thing that I can sell to a child for money and food? Except not food. They never seem to sell food. Huh. Come on, you guys invited me in here as a guest. Can you guys give me some goddamn food? I don't mean to be rude, but here I am coming in at four o'clock in the morning. Food. Food. Is the kettle hot? Do you ever go to sleep, creepy man? I have a heartache. Do we still have a shred of hope? There is always hope. Oh. <clears throat> However brilliant an action, it should not be esteemed great, unless the result of a great motive. There's going to be an outbreak, outbreak in this town. Face the truth, Judge. We cannot bring your brother back, but we can avert another tragedy. I do not wish to believe this. I need the truth, but I need it proven, not based on revelations. If what you say is true, Doctor, the labor of our life is condemned. We will seek a different answer till the very end. So instead of fixing the problem, you just will continually seek a different reality instead? A wise man once dropped a coin in the dark, but kept looking for it under the street light, only because there was one more light there. Oh, only because there was more light there. Need I say that he found nothing? It is you who wants to look under the street lamp. I'm encouraging you to make another journey into the darkness. I have a letter from the powers that be. They are also writing about an epidemic. Don't you find it convincing? I don't. The domain of the powers that be is somewhere above us. They don't understand us and treat us as if we were their toys. I have no desire to give heed to them. Besides, weren't you the one to have suffered their idiocy in the first place? What makes you give any currency to their opinion now? I don't understand you, Judge. What's your agenda, your plan? Admitting he died like that means letting the killer escape. If we acknowledge that no murder took place, the murderer will have a chance to flee. I need to know what exactly it was that sufficed to end Simon's life. Do not mistake it for senile obstinacy, Doctor. It's my final attempt to save us all. I'll bring you the proof you need. He's a brave man, this Haru Specs. He's a brave man, this Haru Specs. People are just vaguely referring to things I don't have context for fully. It's dark out. But I guess I can just talk to these people. And it's the next day, so their dialogue's ready. Did you just unlock this door so I don't have to walk in a weird circle around your whole house every time? Just be nice of you to do that. The true way to be deceived is to think oneself more knowing than others. Can I help you? You want me to find the murderer for you? I have, but no one would listen to me. Yes, Georgie is beside himself. However, I don't have the power to defy his orders. He is the eldest in the family. I'm doing everything I can to make him face the terrible truth. Simon wasn't immortal, but that neither entitles nor compels us to despair. What can I do for you? Before you leave this place, please save as many people as you can. I will reward you for every life you save. If only I could, I would get myself tools and medicine and walk around the town curing the infected. Alright. Anyway, how does one leave this place? I'm not talking about myself, just asking about the available means. Oglimsky owns the fleet of carriages and locomotives. Perhaps you'll be able to strike a deal with him. 
Moreover, a regular train with factory goods and provisions is due to arrive any day now. After unloading, it will head back immediately. Good luck. The train must be allowed in, but cannot be allowed out. Don't worry, I won't leave your town until I make sure the disease has been contained. He's talking about containment. The, uh... If the... If the train leaves, then it spreads the plague outside of the town. I feel as though my blood is getting thicker. An omen, is it not? Can I help you? Yes, I'm going to need your help soon. But not now, evidently. I'm going to starve! Can I help you? Yeah, hey, rich people that run this place and ha basically hired me, kind of. Can you just give me, like, food from your mansions? You're, I'm gonna just starve to death. Yeah. In fact, you guys have never paid me for anything, I believe. I'm a bird. Mystical affinity tickled Katarina's fancy. You're giving me a stony stare. Is something wrong? Are you disappointed? Your stare is no velvet either. Alright. We have way fewer interactions than expected, considering how much they were like, She wants to talk to you. Go visit her. It's very important. And whatnot. Is that a store? That's oh, a clothing store. So these icons are- what's that? Oh, that's the polyhedron. Yeah. So these are stores. So I just need to find one that sells better things than clothes. Curious about what you sell, though. Are you open? Oh god, it's the same guy. Spooky. Hello, sir. What's that? Drapery. A needle. Kerosene. Okay. It's for refilling your lamp, but I don't have a lamp. Disposable gloves. Not really in a hurry right now. I've also got money already. Hmm. Okay, that gives me more to go on. So look for the tan, the tan buildings. And the tan buildings are different businesses, and I just have to memorize which businesses are which. Would be kind of nice if if he would write down what business it is on the map. I assume, I assume this is a real map we have. So if I discover what a business is, it'd be great if he could write it down on the map. And then I can know forever. Instead of having to memorize it. Right, so this is the pharmacy. That's clothing store. Maybe that'll be food. Yeah, that way. The atmosphere is really good. There is an E and B I saw footage of. One of those things where they they change all the shaders of the game, but I I honestly found it to be of generally lower quality, or at the very least, it made the entire game look black, which I thought was not really an improvement. Hey, murder man, how you doing? Mm, cut. Why can't I hit you? Combat's hard, guys. Ow. I did it! Yay, the baby's happy with me. Look how much money he has. So much money, and all I have to deal with is that I'm more dead than ever before. Hooray. Hooray. 